I'm John Espino with the Young Folks. Hi. Right. Hey, John. How are you all doing today? Good. How awesome. are you? Good. You know, taking it easy. <laughs> yeah. Day by day, for sure. So, depending on your experience in high school or even college, it's either the best or worst experience of your life. So, how did it feel revisiting those days in the Kissing Booth too? <laughs> I love that question. That was a great way to put it. <laughs> um, you know, for me, college, I loved college. I worked through college and it, was, it became a part of my, um, more of like a routine opposed to my life. So, we like worked, went to college, auditioned. Um, high school was different. I didn't love high school, but, you know, I was a part of like a nationally ranked and champion swim team. So that was my life. I was in that, you know, five hours a day. So I would, I would say like the, the competitiveness that I, I get from high school, um, like I would be so, I'm forever grateful for the rest of my life. Um, you know, but going back into high school was a, a little slightly nerve wracking. I definitely asked my sister tons of questions because she was super popular. I was like, all right, when this happens, what do you do? When this has happened to you, what do you do? You know, and so I got a lot of my uh, my tips from her. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I think for me, college college was amazing because you really get to embrace your individuality and you kind of appreciate it. And, you know, you appreciate it for your intellect as well. I went to Oxford, which I think, you know, it's that energy which is similar to Harvard, whereby all these brilliant minds just passionate and talking and sharing and learning. So I, I was really enjoyed going back to college. High school, I would not have enjoyed going back to quite so much. I think I got the lucky end of the deal in this one. Taylor, you said that uh, you were kind of athletic in high school. So did that help you prepare for some of the intense dance sequences in the film? Totally. I mean, I think I've been uh, you know, very physical since uh, before high school. And it's just kind of, you know, for the um, since I've graduated, have just maintained um, like a physical fitness. Um, I just love being active. So when I was cast as Marco, we went into like five to six hour rehearsals every day. And my poor choreographers, because I would ask them to stay even longer with me just to make sure, you know, we got the got them down because it was it was so technical. You know, there's there's the four arrows on each side plus the the silver squares around them. But so you have to put all of that to use. And so like, you know, in the script when we say that uh, step accuracy and choreography, um, it was marrying the two was, was very difficult. You killed it. Oh. <laughs> really oh yeah. Are, are, how are your legs? Are they still sore? Oh uh, no! I mean, I just have like you know bulging muscles now. So. <laughs> I got what I got you? winded just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll so, take it as a compliment. <laughs> for Maisie, I'm used to seeing you in more sci-fi, supernatural, fantasy elements. Mm -hmm. So, did doing the film, The Kissing Book Two, kind of require a completely different mindset and approach? Definitely is, you know, it's deeply refreshing. I also, I come from theatre, so I'm used to sort of switching it up and I did a, a great play. Every, every, in between every break of seasons, I try and do something which is completely different to Legends just to kind of keep me on my toes and keep me fresh. But it was really amazing to, you know, Vince is an amazing director whereby he really lets you play. You know, you can take your time, you can explore those beats, you can switch it up and he's always down to have a conversation about it and to, for it to be a collaboration. So that was so refreshing because, you know, on network TV, the clock is just like on you. There's not really a time to, to be too creative. Um, so I loved it. It was, it was a real sort of a real luxury to have that moment to chill. So I just read the other day that secretly the third film was all ready to go for next year. Mm -hmm. So is there yeah. anything you can tease about your characters, which I'm sure will be returning? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Marco and Chloe are returning to the third one. Uh, for for me, you know, at the end of two, you you see that um, he says that, that L is worth it, um, and the audience isn't sure at what what capacity that is. So you'll see in the third movie what what happens with Marco. Uh, you know, post it's post high school. Does, does he want to go to college? Does he, um, you know, want to play in a band somewhere? I don't know. Like I, I really, we don't know yet. So I'm I'm really excited to see the outcome of, you know, these relationships. And I really did enjoy the cultural element of your character. Like you were singing in Spanish in several times. Yeah, and me I too. That was, that. that was huge for me. Uh, I was like, so excited when they told me that what I like about you would be uh, partially in Spanish. And, you know, we, we got to work on that. And, you know, my mom's Mexican. And so growing up with that side um, in the household was 
was great to bring it into adulthood and to you know, champion it. And that Vince is such um, a champion of, of black and brown lives. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. What, what can we expect to see from your character in the future? Ooh, um, more pool playing. No. Yes, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think it's such a cool period of time, that sort of summer, that final summer between going from high school to, to university and just how, you know, everyone's growing up, everyone's changing. We see new sides of these different characters and, you know, all the relationships, you know, it's tested and it's 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 a really intimate and warm and yet huge film. We went we filmed in Durban for three weeks as well, which was really fun. Um, and yeah, it's it's I think you know bigger and better again than the one before. So, what is the most embarrassing moment you had in high school? Oh my gosh! Most embarrassing God. moment. I think I got pants once. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I think someone like ripped my like a, a buddy of mine from the team just like pulled my pants down in front of everyone. Definitely think that was a embarrassing <laughs> moment. Matt, I don't think I've had many embarrassing <laughs> moments. Wow, lucky. I could make so something up. <laughs> no, it was, yeah, yeah I, I think I got away pretty easy at high school. And now the most important question. Um, I have an assistant here now that I'm working from home and they wanted to know if you would buy a ticket for them if they were at a kissing booth. His name is Bowie. Oh, oh Bowie. Definitely. So cute. That's all the tickets <laughs> for that? Bowie. Okay. Oh He's very happy. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So cute. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank yeah. you.